Okay guys, what is up? So today, you probably clicked on this because you want to know a little bit more about color grading your photos. Now today I'm going to show you a really cool plugin for Photoshop that's going to just help you figure out what color grade you can use. So without further ado, let's jump into Photoshop and I'll show you guys there. Okay guys, so now as you can see we're here in Photoshop and yeah, I've already done some tweaking on this photo. So today we're just going to focus on doing a color grade. Now. As you can see in this photo, it's one of the many ones that I took on one of my previous videos, the Holly Davidson shoot. So for today, um, we're going to just do some color grading. Now I want to show you guys a really, really cool tool. So this is Infinite Color Panel. Um, so Infinite Color Panel is actually almost more of a randomizer. It doesn't like, you don't click on it and you get to tweak around, you'd be like blue, orange, maybe actually that would be pretty cool. If you're more of a warm tone guy or a cold tone guy, I think that would be a really cool thing to add maybe on um, Infinite Color Panel. But so far, they haven't added that, but Infinite Color Panel is more of a randomizer. Now, I know maybe that is not what you want, but hear me out, it's a really, really intelligent randomizer. So what Infinite Color Panel does, it kind of analyzes your photo and gives you color grades to work with. Now, a lot of people don't think that's quite handy because you kind of want to have that certain look that you want. But I've made many, many color grades from this that started off this as a base. Now, Infinite Color Panel has a bunch of different things that you can utilize. It's got light, medium, intense, and harmonized. Now, light is a very light color grade it's a very like a very subtle one now i'm going to show all you like i'm going to show all of these ones as they come and i'm going to show you guys i'm going to walk you through it but light is a very very like very subtle color grade medium is more intense and intense is very intense so harmonize it just i don't really know what it does um i don't generally use it because i because i don't use tools that i don't know what you can do with but also what is cool, you can switch off the different um, different things that they give you when you click on the create button. So you can switch off to take away curves, color balance, selective color, um, gradient map, and color lookup. Now, I have not done that because I don't feel as needed, but definitely I would say selective color and gradient map is my favorite. So I'd probably be able to get away with just those because those are the ones that I generally use in my color grading. But let's get into it. I want to show you guys what light is. So if you click on create, which it will randomly choose for you and boom, you have a color grade. Now you see it just popped up here at the bottom saying infinite color panel or infinite color. And it gives you a bunch of different um, things and it kind of just gives you a complete random look. So this is a more warm tone. Now let's kind of get into it. Press create again. I think this one's more cool. Let's see what it did. Yeah, it's more of a cool one, a little bit of warmth, but yeah. Create again. That one's a bit too green. Like I said, it's a randomizer and it doesn't always nail it, but it does a really good job at it. And it also doesn't build up at all. So you always have these, just this one panel. So if you press create again, boom, still the one panel. Pretty cool. So yeah, you can just kind of siphon through these and kind of grab some information and like just some inspiration about what you want this photo to look like. Now I kind of like this, it really warms up the skin tones, gives a little bit of pink hue to it, really nice. So let me kind of show you guys what medium is like. Now create, but now as you see medium was much, much harsher than um, light. So, you can't unfortunately be like, oh, I like this color and then click on light and it will move it over to light. It doesn't do that. You might have to then just go there to infinite color and just maybe lower the um, opacity on it. But yeah, let's click it again. Let's see what it gives us. Very warm. So yeah, you can just keep on clicking create. Oh, that's very cold. I'm um, just gonna keep on clicking create and it will just keep on giving you more and more and more different colors to work with. Now. Let's go to Intense. Now, Intense, I don't use at all, to be honest. It's just too much for me. It's not my scene or style. That's not bad though, but uh, I feel when I started, like start off with this as a base, I seem to kind of neutralize it down a lot afterwards. So let's go create again. 
Now, I kind of like that. I think this works well with the fact that I've blown out the sky on this photo. So, yeah. And you can just keep on clicking create and you'll keep on getting a new grade. Now, this is a really nice one. I actually really like that. But yeah, let's now, let me click on harmonizer for you guys. Now, sorry, it's just waiting for it to load. And there we go. Boom, harmonizer. Now, like I said, you could actually see the big difference there. I don't know what it does. It's very, like even the random is not that random to me. So I don't know exactly what it does. So I don't really generally use it that often. But that actually is a cool effect and you can definitely see, you can definitely see the difference. Now I'm just gonna delete this. Delete all of it. I'm just gonna go show you guys. So. I used a similar type of, um, like I did it a similar way. I pressed on light and I kind of went through all the, like a bunch of ones until I saw a, a look that I liked. And then I ended up just adding to it until I got the, um, the look that you see in a lot of the photos called Utah, very warm tone, but it really pops the blues in the photo a lot. So this was all inspired by infrared color panel, it gave me an idea of what I liked, what look I thought was going to be good. And I just kept on playing and playing and playing and growing from there. So um, this was created by Pratik Naik and it's a very, very powerful tool. And it's a very big recommendation from me to for you guys to go get it. I know it is a um, maybe expensive purchase, but it does save you a lot of time when it comes to creating your photos. So I hope you guys kind of enjoyed this. It was a very, very, very kind of relaxed type of Photoshop um, tutorial. Not really a tutorial, but more of a, a little bit of a walkthrough and my impression. Like I said, a few things that I would have liked to see out of um, Infrared Color Panel is maybe the ability to choose a, um, a type of grade. So if you want to be a more warm grade or cool grade, maybe you can just click on something and it can give you that option. But nonetheless, it has helped me, it has helped me a lot. It gives me a lot of inspiration in the photos to kind of work with it, kind of edit from there on out and kind of get ideas of what the photo could be. Sometimes I use them, sometimes I don't. It is a randomizer, but it's a very good randomizer. So without further ado guys, I'm gonna end it off here. Hope you guys enjoyed that. Remember to like, subscribe, and maybe comment down below what you guys wanna see next. Any other panels that you guys want me to check out? Tell me down below. Peace out.